May 14, 2024, through Forex Funds, upload a post that shocked the trading industry, announcing the closure due to insolvency. But do you really believe that? If you want to join the class section against two forex funds, what we can do to get our money back? Why was two forex funds logging into traders' accounts, trading for us, manipulating the markets? Two forex funds might have been accessing your trading account. So I tracked down the two forex funds money, and in this video, I will reveal where it might be hidden and exactly what we can do to get our money back. The Forex Fund is gone, leaving you over 300 traders without payouts worth more than $1.2 million. While the CEO floats a lavish lifestyle by a Lamborghini and posting on his Insta, a perfect exit scam. But what about us? If you are one of the affected traders feeling like you've been robbed, you're not alone. True Forex Fund keeps sending meaningless apologies but offers no solutions to get our money back. We can't accept it. And here's what you can do. Luckily, I found someone that can help us with that. Someone that knew something was wrong with True Forex Fund since 2023 and was trying to alert us but nobody heard him or even cared about what he was saying. You know, I personally managed two companies and since I heard that True Forex Fund was insolvent, the first question that came to my mind was how prop firms are a very profitable business. And the company itself reported that their goal for 2024 was $80 million. I don't know if you guys still remember, but in early February, True Forex Fund closed temporarily because Metacode suspended their license. I find out that Metacode probably was trying to disassociate their name of something that they thought could be a scam or potentially could reveal as a scam for the future. So they suspended True Forex Fund's license. Okay, to understand how True Forex Fund ended up in this deplorable situation, we need to understand four key moments. The first one, is when Metacodes banned True Forex Fund from using their popular apps, and I think Metacodes was actually right to do it. The second key moment is when True Forex Fund is back in business, so they come back to business using now sick traders. The third moment, and the most important one, is when they started to face crippling liquidity issues. In this third key moment, I will also show to you guys how you guys can get your money back. The first and last key moment, they got shut down, even when shutting down the Managed to do it in the most incompetent way possible. I will cover with you all of those 40 moments and understand how the two Forex Funds Empire fall. It all started with the Meta Codes ban. This might be the craziest part of the two Forex Funds story. In February 2024, Meta Codes, the company behind the popular Meta Trader apps, revoked two Forex Funds license to use their platform. This is a big deal. After all, Metacode is a business and business want to make money, so why shut down a customer and lose revenue? Here's where things get interesting. According to a finance journalist, Abdel Aziz Fati, the reason might be due to, quote, the provider whose services have been used since 2021 is alleged to have connected MetaTrader's client terminal in a manner not fully acceptable by Metacodes. End of the quotes. This means that True Forex Fund might have been assessing your trading account in a way that violated Meta Code's terms. But the big question will be an answer. First, why was True Forex Fund logging into traders' accounts? Why? Second question, what were they doing while logging in? Trading for us? Manipulating the markets? Well, unfortunately, we won't have the answer for those questions anytime soon. But that pushed us to the comeback they did in April with, quote, a new trading technology. So the second key moment, two Forex funds are back in business. So in April, after the MetaTrader suspension, they come back with a new trading platform, CTrader. CTrader is a solid platform, but Here's the catch. Many traders and liquidity providers never heard of it. The typical moment they faced 
creeping liquidity issues. So since the beginning of May, True Forex Farm start to facing liquidity issues due to MetaTrader restriction and of course your liquidity provider. So I did this little metal lip to explain to you guys what's this switch between MetaTrader or MetaHolds to CTrader is it a simple thing. Here you guys have the True Forex Farms. In order for True Forex Farms to work, they need a ad MetaTrader or CTrader and a liquidity provider. In this case, I don't know which one it was using, but it was very, very good at the beginning when it was using IC Market as their liquidity provider and the spread was awesome. The liquidity provider will provide them with the call to part for the trade the trader executes. So if you buy gold, the liquidity provider will find someone that is selling gold in order to fill your trade. So that's exactly what a liquidity provider do. And see trader and meta trader that are the apps you use to trade, they will see price with the market price and they will also send the orders to who? To the liquidity provider in order to find the counterpart of the trade. So that's how a prop firm work on back end, on the high the scenes and why the change between C trader to meta trader isn't a simple thing. First, because many brokers and many liquidity providers doesn't even support C trader, and when they support it, they don't have the same quality to stick the price and send the order as they do with Met traders. Because C trader is the niche app, and that's exactly why when they got banned from Meta Trader, instantly they start to get some liquidity issues. On top of that, at that time they had over 300 lady payouts worth over 1.2 million dollars and the metal trade ban likely caused revenue loss between 1 to 4 million dollars. Two Forex Fund CEOs Richard Nardi owns Answer. One Twitter user highlighted concern about the lead payouts for over a year and alleged hundreds of scammed users. They stopped doing payouts to clients of the prop field a year ago and he go even further. This part I actually think is useful for everybody watching this video. The same Twitter users say, quote, I already collected hundreds of scammed users. If you want to join the class section against two for example, contact me in DM. So if you want a way to get your money back, please contact Mr. Cobra Dex. I am 100% confident that if you guys open a group class section with multiple people and proofs, some solution eventually will appear. Richard Nagy, the CEO of True Forex Funds, went on to say that they can provide a definitive timeline for resolving these delays payouts but they are committed to settling them ASAP. Shortly after True Forex Funds announced their closure, the first key moment, True Forex Funds just closed their doors. Day 30 of May, True Forex Funds announced it that they are closing operation and even when closing, they managed to do it in the most incompetent way possible. True Forex Fund had social media ads running with discount codes even on the day before closing. Others prop film scams the future. The answer is simple. Prioritize trust. Choose reliable brokers with a proven track record. That's why I recommend IC Market, a broker that I've been using with excellent services since 2015. Open an account with the first link below for commission free trading and low spreads on indices, okay? And if you want to buy Bitcoin with low QAC, check the link below. All right, traders, that's it for today. Keep those stop loss tight and your gains higher. See you in the next video. Trade safe.